Hi guys, so for tonight's Try It Out Tuesday Facebook Live, we're going to be using gesso and distress inks and inkables templates and any other loveliness we can find. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy it and let's get started. Right, let me turn you around. Here we go. Let me just make sure you're in the right place. Excellent. So... As soon as you arrive, if you can give me a thumbs up so I can see you're here, that would be great. Right. And whilst you all join in, I'm just going to share the video around, the live around, so people know we've started. <sighs> Damn. So happy Tuesday. I hope you all had a great bank holiday weekend. Um... You know, we are now, I think we're, we're starting to adapt to the new normal quite well, um, as best we can anyway. Um, and the weather was nice, so it's great. So yeah, as you arrive, give me a thumbs up and I will do my best to follow the comments. Hi Jane, hi Marcia. Hi Jane. That really confused me for a minute. Right. <clears throat> So today, whilst we were packing orders, um, a lovely lady on the phone rang up to make her orders today and she asked if I could do a technique using gesso and distress oxides. It's something she's seen and she wanted me to have a look and have a go with it. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I've had a little play this afternoon. Um, but basically that was so I could get some dry but in all reality I've got no idea what is going to happen in the next little while so let's get started and see what's going to happen so for this I'm going to use some of the Inkables big ones because um, it's a nice big pattern but of course you could use um, what I hope is going to be a good technique with all of your Inkables um, so I'm going to go for the jungle leaves because it's got a bold pattern, but it's also got some space. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight in. I've got a big tub of gesso here. For those who are familiar with my Try Out Tuesdays, this is the very tub that got kicked over my craft room floor. Um, so there's a lovely big white patch on my craft room floor um, on the carpet. The only room in the downstairs of my house that's carpeted. There's gesso all over the floor. Right. So we're going to drive straight in with our Inkables big ones. So this is Jungle Leaves. Um, I have had a go with some other ones as well, but I'll show you those dry. And what we're going to do is we're just going to grab some of our gesso. And we're going to create a full cover. Okay. Because I'm going to be working off the edge of the tag, I have got my um, brown mat to work on. Because I like to work on my brown mat when I'm doing messy things. And keep my blending mats clean for ink. Okay, so we'll peel that off. And you can see you've got the relief of the template right now you know you might not know you might be new i um instead of using texture paste i'm a regular user of polyfiller or any you know all-purpose filler um because i think it's great you can mix colors with it which makes it um really versatile um, and obviously it's really low cost so it's a really really great thing but, so I was having a look, when this lady asked, I want to say her name is Carol, can't remember exactly though, I'm sorry Sam, so I'm, just, I'm so sorry. Um, when I was looking at this technique, this is not a replacement for the filler, it's just something a little bit different. Okay, so, let me just pick that up to show you. So you can see, you've got all the relief detail on the tag there, Okay which I think is rather fab and rather beautiful as it is. I'm just going to put my palette knife over here. This will be washed. I won't say straight away, but soon. Right. 
And I will say, the gesso actually does come off your templates easier than filler. Okay, so we've got the... So I'm just working on one of the um, Tim Holtz distress tags here. And that's what I was working on earlier. So I th you can dry this with your heat tool. Um, but what I've done earlier is I did some earlier so that you could just, so that we could work straight onto them um, without having to worry about heating too much. Even though I have got my dry heat tool out. So we could, you know, if we wanted to. Oh, I will say quickly. Let me just grab that back. Very similar to, though, if you wanted to mix your gesso with an ink to create a sort of coloured gesso. I'm just going to get some of that out now. You can do that. So, hang on, I don't know if I've put that in the, in the place you can see. So you can mix that with your Distress Oxide. And then you've got a coloured gesso as well. So really wicked to use. So you can use that through your templates too. You could just like spread it on with a palette knife to give you that sort of rough, rough look. But the nice thing is that is just another option to do with your white gesso. Um, right, so let me just take that off there. Okay, so this is the ones I did earlier. Now, I've used several different big ones and a couple of different gessos. This was um, the PBO gesso um, in the tube. Um, this one. And in all honesty, I thought it was a bit runny um, and it sort of bled underneath. So the one in the tub, the Raw Talons one is good and also the... Uh, ones we have i can't remember the brand now um, but it's a ranger one in the tub that one came out really quite clean as well okay so but i did find the pbo one a little bit runny so just to give you an idea now the reason we're using gesso is your filler that i love to use and like i said i love to use it you can color it it's fantastic it's that's great to go on last okay because it gives a coarse finish um even if you use the fine ones but also it's absorbent okay it's still absorbent unless you seal it so it is sort of the last thing on but your gesso gives a much smoother non-absorbent finish so what that means is i'm gonna i'm gonna work with these two because they've got the cleanest finish now you can see this one you've got quite a lot of open space still left on your tag this one is quite closed off so it's going to show you the different how the different patterns work so i'm going to get a couple of different greens to work with and i think a mustard seed to go over the jungle leaves i'm going to get a really wide paintbrush So I'm going to put some of the inks onto my blending mat. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. So, but do you like, do you like the gesso on there? Give me a thumbs up or a heart or something. Okay. So, and then we're going to go, where's my mister? Not Mr. Tonks. Mr. Mister. Mister. Okay, and we're going to spritz that on. And I'm going to be using a wide brush. So I'm going to take that on. And I'm going to put that over there. And then we're just going to, I'm going to work my way down. Sort of mixing the colours up. Okay. Take a bit more of that green. Using a wide, like I say, a wide brush. Because I want a sort of colour wash. Going over. Okay, then I'm going to add in a bit of yellow from that mustard seed in other places. Okay, so we're just going to keep adding that in until you're happy with it. 
I've gone through a bazillion tags today, trust me. So forgive me for wiping this ink off. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use our microfiber, but you could use something else. And we're just going to buff off the excess ink off where the gesso is because it's not absorbent. So you can use it as a resist for your inks, okay? So you get this lovely sort of resist technique with your leaves, which I think is really beautiful. I absolutely love it, okay? Which is your favorite big one? I'm going to try and keep going, but I will come back and look at the comments later. What is your favourite Inkables big one? There is quite a few, isn't there? There's 12 in actual fact. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to have a look at this one. Now this one has got much less space. So we're going to see how this one comes together. So I'm going to go in with some wilted violet and some blue. Same thing, I'm just going to spritz my brush wipe it off i really need to clean my microfibers they're getting a bit dirty okay and then so then we're gonna spritz over our inks again i'm gonna work it through now i am gonna sort of work it in to this tag because there is so much of the gesso on there. I want to make sure I get the ink into the gaps, okay? So we're going to work that in really, really well. Okay, and then we can go back Oh, I've put my distress inks on that tag <coughs> And again, ah, this wasn't the talons, this was another one. And you can see that has taken on some of the ink because it hasn't dried all the way through. But what it has done is it's given you this sort of paler, paler look to it. I really like that. That was unexpected, but really pretty. I'm very pleased with that one. But if you wanted to make sure, you know, how, because that has obviously absorbed a little bit of the colour. But if we wet the end of our microfiber, we will be able to lift that off, you see. So even if you're, because this, that's the Talons Gesso, okay, which obviously allowed me to lift it straight off, okay. But this one just needs a little bit of help so you could do it with baby wipes if you use baby wipes if not just wet the edge of your cloth and you can get that sort of look but i've got to be honest i do prefer the look of the more open template now what this does mean captain squeak the chair's back isn't it um what this does mean is though because it's gesso you can then work over the top you can use your dilution sprays you can use other things okay but what it also means is I'm just gonna grab some, some of these stamps <coughs> excuse me I am sorry you can use some border stamps now I'm gonna get my border block squeaky McSqueak has returned indeed so, what we're going to do is I'm going to get my Versafine. I'm going to put I'm going to put a stamp on the block first. Yeah, you know. So I'm going to put this brush on here. So this is from the texture borders. Loads of different textures for building up. You know. So because it's gesso and not filler 
okay you can go in and then stamp on it okay so it can be the base even though it's added that bit of texture in oh hello sorry i've lost you on on where i'm following the the comments so you you know you you don't have to that's completely thrown me off now hasn't it so you can it's not the end of your project when you're using filler and when you're coloring it usually that's sort of the last thing that has to go on because you can't stamp over the top because of the coarseness and absorbance absorbency of it but because your gesso is a primer that's designed to have more stuff on top okay you can then go in and stamp which is just awesomeness i have to say so i've got lots so you can see i've been playing lots with these today different gessos i should have written on the back which ones i used that's what i should have done obviously um but you know so all the big ones are great for this your mandalas now i have to say i'm not sure um they'd be great for this technique the reason being they're they're quite intricate and there's a there's not a lot of negative space and when you know if you want those colors to show up you need that negative space okay in order to get the color otherwise you don't have as much color because it's mostly filled in if you see where i'm going so it's just really having you know having to play with it and this is what your tags are for have a go have a go with your different gessos if you have different gessos have a go with your different inks over the top but i have to say your oxides are really really good because they're so reactive with water as well it does mean you can lift them if you need to all right i'm gonna put that tag down there because i keep putting things in it Eek. and my mat's now got gesso all over it so it does come off right so here's a little q and a um that was a technique that somebody specifically asked me to show them um today um but even for me that is really really a quick demo so is there anything else in particular anyone would like to see this evening before i put the things away <laughs> she laughed right and what have you guys all been crafting with what have you all been having fun with? All oh, right, is there is there internet issues for some people? Um, if not, don't worry. Please make sure you send us your suggestions on Facebook, email shop at becrafty.net, um, or you can. If you can, please subscribe to the YouTube channel where you'll find this and all the other Facebook Lives and videos um, and other videos we've loaded. And there is also a playlist section on there as well where we have linked to uh, previous Hachanda shows, Jane Royston's videos. Lots of loveliness going on there. Um, so we have lots of things going on there. So you can So you can message us through YouTube, I'm sure you can. Twitter, Instagram messages through there um and please share any of your bee crafty makes in the bee crafty stamps group and do not forget to add to the challenge do you know what as i'm actually talking to you now i'll 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 hold to the phone rather than <clears throat> right i won't turn you, i won't show you me craft room because that's just right hi yeah so hi again <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel please um make sure you are in the bee crafty stamps group and you have a go at this month's challenge it's been set by mum and it's a great challenge actually there's a sketch so it's not something you have to you know it's you've got a really good starting point for your your project so it can be a journal page it can be a scrapbook page it can be a card an atc anything as long as it follows the sketch canvas anything like that um and yeah just show us any of your bee crafty makes right 
I am going to go. Quickest Facebook Live I think I've ever done. It's probably because I haven't had my dinner. I can't lie. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And I will see you next week at 8pm for my try at Tuesday Club. And if there's anything specific you'd like to see, let me know. And canvas bag. I feel like I've missed something. Um, Abby will be back tomorrow. She's been planning hers and I've got a Facebook Live in the crafting all together. Don't forget the Spring Savers sale is still on on the website. So that is 20% off all inkables, all dinkables, all skylines, all stamps, including doodle art, art stuff, everything, all the, all the stamps, all the inkables. So you just go on to becrafty.co.uk or becrafty.net and you will find it there. All right then, guys. Have a fantastic evening.